Okay guys, hello and welcome back to the HD Muscle channel. You probably haven't seen this face for a very long time. Um, my name is Phoebe Hagen, I have Phoebe Bikini Pro from the UK and I'm the newest female member of HD Muscle, which is super exciting, so I'm very excited to be back. Um, so today I'm gonna take you through my, I guess, day in the life um, of what it looks like at to be a bikini Olympian at 10 weeks out because we are, well, we just hit under 10 weeks out today. And I will kind of want to show you how I incorporate HD Muscle products and just what my day looks like in general, doing my cardio, doing work in general. And currently I'm staying at the Muscle Mansion, which is in Canada, Toronto, which is where HD are based. So, um, and it's incredible being here. It's very, very surreal being here for me. So it's a super huge honor. So I just wanna say thank you so much HD for just bringing me on and I'm excited to be back. So, okay, I'm gonna show you what I take in the mornings um, and why I take it and why it's helpful for me. So first product is the Omega 3s. Omega 3s are good for overall health benefits anyway, good for brain function, good for cardiovascular, just overall good health. And then the next product for me is glutamine. So glutamine HD is something I take every single morning. I take it with my coffee, which sounds really weird, but I take it in my coffee because it's unflavored. So for me, I'm not a massive fan of having it in just water. So I would prefer to have it with something that I can't taste it in. You could put it in anything. Like I've seen people put it on oats before. I've seen people have it in, you know, their pre-workouts or something like that. But overall, I like to have it in my coffee in the morning because that's something that I just have in the morning. It's routine for me. So it's very, very easy. It's very, very good for overall digestion. That's for me is key, especially on prep, especially with a high protein diet. You want to make sure digestion is on point, especially in prep. So we kind of don't get any kind of up and down levels and kind of get distur disturbed stomachs and stuff like that. Next product is Beltane. I can't say that word. Beltane H. C L, Beltane H C L. Now, these are just something I've been recently using, and again, it's very good for high protein diet, good for digestion. Um, again, something that's really, really helps when on prep, especially with a high protein diet. So for me, again, it's a no-brainer, um, and I have seen a difference with just being a little bit more just feeling a little bit more flatter in my stomach and not feeling as bloated as much um if i'm honest like from day to day i've only been using it a week now um and i can really i can tell a difference which is good so especially because just under 10 weeks out little things like this adding this in can you, you'll be able to see a difference so for me it's a big big yes okay so a, another product which is hard for me to pronounce citrus bergamot um again another product that i've just recently started using helps with overall cardiovascular health and just overall brain function um overall just good for health in general if i'm honest so this is something that i'm excited to kind of see the benefits from um and just overall just use it in my daily routine and last but not least vita hd now this is a product that I've missed having because I used to be with HD um, and this is something that I really do love. They are a little bit more expensive than normal vitamin, vitamin, overall multivitamins. But if you look at the back of the label, if you can see that, that's the reason. There is so much good stuff in, packed in these vitamins. That's why. Um, I think usually you can get a multivitamin and it's you don't know what it's packed with really, if I'm honest. So you wanna try and make sure that you're getting something that is worth its while. So this is something that I'm really excited to kind of continue using because again, overall good for overall health benefits, making sure that you're just getting in all good vitamins throughout the day. Um, and it's a pack, it's a it's a serving of five. But what I tend to do sometimes is instead of having five tablets in the morning, because again, there's a lot of tablets to take, I will take, three in the morning and two in the evening. So just to split it up, just so I don't take five loads and loads of tablets in the morning. Um, so yeah, I can split it up throughout the day um, and that's it. Oh, and one more thing, EAAs. So I have this in the morning. It's good for, it. I have try and have this whilst I'm making my breakfast, just to make sure that I get some water in um, and making sure that I stay hydrated. And this flavor, peach, is to die for. I'm a sucker for anything peach. So this is something that I, yeah, have every single morning. So that's me. And that's what I take for supplements in the morning. So now let's make my breakfast.
so that is breakfast down the hatch. Still just sipping on my coffee at the moment. Um, but I'm checking in. So obviously today is check-in day for me. So, um, and just a little update for anyone that actually wants to kind of find out kind of a little bit more about me. We are currently, like I said before, we are currently almost nine and a half weeks out from the Olympia, 2023 Olympia, which is super exciting. So little backstory, I got qualified for this year's Olympia the week before last year's Olympia. So last year's Olympia was my first ever Olympia. So I've been pro now for around five years um, and it's been tough trying to get qualified for the Olympia, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and obviously as it should be because it's the biggest bodybuilding show in the world, but um, it's been tough. So it's been an absolute honor to be able to be, you know, qualified for the second one. And yeah, I'm super excited for it. So this year, no, last year, I got seventh place um, in the bikini category out of, I think it was 58 of us overall. So it was a big Olympia. And I think the same will be happening this year. So far, I think there's around 37 bikini girls qualified so far. So I would, my goal is to obviously get into that top 10 again and to potentially crack that top five spot. So I'm very, very excited for it. Um, and I'm, yeah, I can't wait for it. So yes, we're currently nine and a half weeks out from that or nine and a half weeks out tomorrow. Check-in day was today. We are currently working towards maintaining a little bit more muscle mass. So last year, my conditioning was great. They really liked my conditioning. They just wanted a little bit more muscle mass from me. So this year, that's the goal. Trying to make sure that we maintain that muscle because I am 5'8". So I'm a taller competitor. So when I go up against girls that are slightly smaller than me, um, I can look very long and very sometimes slim, which is great in some aspects, but not when it comes to bodybuilding. So I wanna make sure that obviously we maintain as much muscle as we can and really maintain that fullness because that's exactly what they want in bikini. They want that fullness. They want to keep that, they wanna see that projection. They wanna keep that density, um, but also not too much. So it's kind of finding that nice in between, um, which is always the struggle with bikini, but we're on the way. I'm very, very happy with my check-ins. So I was literally just sat there a second ago, looking through my phone, um, picking the photos and stuff like that. So yes, very excited for it. Um, can't wait. So I think, um, now, what I was gonna actually show you is before I go and get ready for the rest of my day, because I'm gonna have a posing client at Pure Muscle Fitness Gym, and then I have, and then I'm training with one of another, and then I'm training glutes with another HD athlete called Adair. So I'm very excited for that, but I wanted to show you what I have as my, not post-workout, but it's kind of like a, well, not even post, it's post, it's pre-bed, if I'm honest, so my last meal. So my last meal is um, Pro HD Creamy. So I'm gonna show you what that is. Okay, so to anyone that has, is in like the US or, I mean, just anyone in general has seen the hype about the Ninja Creamies. And I've never tried one before until I got to Canada about 10 days ago, and it's been my last meal ever since. So the Ninja Creamy, the process of it is this and it's pretty good so this is the new uber coconut flavor which i'll show you the kind of box in a second for but this is what you have to do before so you have to mix it all up what i do is i do i think it's 200 milliliters of 200 milliliters yeah 200 milliliters of almond milk or cashew milk and one scoop of pro hd Honestly, that equates to around just under 150 calories. And the way that it turns out, I'll put a photo up on the screen for you now, or obviously I'll show you later. It's insane. It's so yummy. So this is something that I've been having every single night just because it's a nice little snack, especially on prep. Just having that sweet craving hits really, really nicely. And the new Uber, I keep saying Uber, um, because it's my accent coming out, but it's Ube. So let me show you what that is. So this is their, their new flavor. So it's Ube coconut flavor. And honestly, I didn't know what to kind of think of it because I've never heard of a protein powder being like this before, but it's honestly insane. So like, if you like kind of like bubble tea um, and kind of those like Asian cuisine style drinks, um, it's an ice cream, obviously, but they kind of do them in um, like bubble tea for bubble tea for bubble tea form as well. This is so good. It's really, really nice. It smells incredible. Oh, it smells so good. And the and the main thing that I love about the the Pro HD pre, uh, the Pro HD protein is it's so low in fats. It's so low in fat, so low in carb. It's 
high in protein. So one scoop, which is 31 grams, is 114 calories. Like it's so good. And that's 0 .0 0 0.1 grams of fat, which in proteins that I've seen before, proteins that taste actually good, usually around three grams of fat at least, which obviously on prep, you wanna try and make sure that your calories are staying kind of, or whatever you have protein wise is kind of as low as possible and high in, high in protein as possible. Um, and then again, carbs are usually at least anywhere between eight grams, so like six to eight grams in some protein powders. This is three, which is great. And then 25 grams of protein. So it's really, it's really good, um, really good quality stuff. And it doesn't taste artificial, which is something that I am very big on. And I think sometimes a lot of the times, um, people don't tend to kind of go for protein powders or kind of products like that. I mean, I don't um, because I don't like the taste um, in terms of it tasting artificial. That's why, that's why I signed with HD because all of their stuff is good quality and it actually tastes good. It doesn't taste too over-processed and doesn't hurt my tummy either. So this is, I think it's a hundred, yeah, hundred percent grass-fed isolate whey. So very, very good quality. Um, and yeah, I can vouch for that. And in a, in a Ninja Creamy style, it's insane. So very, very excited. That's always my, that's my last meal. And that's actually now making me want to buy a Ninja Creamy because it's that good. So yeah, we're gonna, that's my last meal. And then what I have for the rest of the day is pretty much chicken and veg and uh, rice. So my pre-workout will be a, Pre-workout is chicken and rice. Post-workout is chicken and rice or steak, depending on how I'm feeling. Today it's gonna to be chicken because we are going to do a HD shoot today. So I'm gonna give you, um, so I'll show you a little, so I'll show you a few little clips of that later on today. But yeah, that's pretty much what I eat in a day. Um, but I'll show you kind of what we get up to for the rest of the day. Got my little lunchbox ready to go, ready to go to work. Ready to go. But I've got to take this to the gym because we're doing a little shoot with HD for the Ninja Creamy. Not for the Ninja Creamy, but like to show you guys how to make it. And this is what I've got to do. I've got to get into an Uber with this big thing. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay. Vlogging and carrying this thing is a little bit hard, but it's okay. We prepared ourselves. We opened the door before. <laughs> Uber is here. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished my posing plan at Pure Muscle and Fitness, which has been really, really nice. And now I'm just about to have a pre-workout meal. So I've got rice, chicken, like I said before, and I've got the pre-elite, no, pre-ultra dragon fruit flavor, which is probably my favorite flavor alongside the ultra black leech, lychee, lychee flavor. Very, very good flavor. So both of those in here because we've got a glute session now. So we've got to hit it hard and I need some energy for that because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling it now.
so we're at the stu well, studio, Dorian's house, for product shooting today. And we've got the whole production team here, all for me. <laughs> so, which is exciting. So we're just shooting some fun stuff. We've got Pro HD. We're about to show you how to make uh, the Ninja Creamy, like ice cream with the Ube Pro HD new flavor. So I'm very, very excited to try that because that's, that's one flavor I've literally been obsessed with the last couple of weeks. So yeah. Hey guys, Phoebe Hagen here, and we are here today to make the infamous Ninja Creamy Protein Ice Cream with Pro HD's new flavor, Ube Coconut. Step one, break your bank account and get one of these bad boys, if you can find it. Step two is mixing up your products. So we have one scoop of Pro HD, and then we have 200 milliliters of almond milk. You can either mix it up in a protein shaker or you can blend it up. And that's it. So now you're just gonna put it in the Ninja Creamy container that it comes with. So now it's in the container, you put it in the freezer for 12 to 24 hours. After 12 to 24 hours in the freezer, this is what you get. Doesn't look that special now, but just wait guys. So we have these three pieces. We put this in here, try and figure out how this goes on top of here. Good luck to everyone trying to figure out how to use this. We go to here, bring it up and then we press light ice cream for the creamiest consistency. It makes a fucking racket, but just wait. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> Help me, Anna. Like, place a container and click light ice cream. Okay. <laughs> for the consistency that you want, you can add more milk or creamer, but we're just gonna re-spin her again. Yep. There we go, and there we go. <laughs> this is the finished product. This is only 150 calories, and honestly, it's the best protein consistency that you want for a protein ice cream. Perfect. <laughs> Those that don't know, Ube is a Filipino based ice cream dessert, so, this is the perfect flavor combination. And that is a wrap for today. Oh my goodness, I'm so exhausted. Um, it's been such a fun day, if I'm honest. Shooting with HD, just being with HD in general, honestly, best team ever. So very, very happy to be with them. And yeah, just very, very grateful in general. So really, really fun day. That's pretty much from a day in the life we did. Posing clients, we worked, we shoot, we shot. We, my voice is even going because I was talking so much today. And we got a killer glute workout in as well. So day in the life of a bikini olympian getting ready for her next show so very very excited for it and it's been a great day so i love you guys so much i you will be seeing me a lot more on this channel so i hope you enjoyed it please make sure you like subscribe and all those fun things to the channel because you'll be seeing more of me love you guys so much and i will see you soon